Now, one of those games that could feature the Leesville Wampus Cats. Throughout the years, the Cats, they've been stacked in the backfield. Back in the day, you had guys like Michael Ford and Cecil Collins, who both went on to LSU. And in recent memory, there was a guy like Caleb Gallishaw. But last year, sophomore Xavier Ford motored his way to a huge season. And as Elijah Nixon tells us, he's fueled even more this year. I've coached all of them but Grandpa, you know. And so in the, in the family, and to me, that's just a blessing in itself. Coach Causey had the luxury of coaching the Ford family for years, from Michael Ford to now Xavier Ford. Xavier didn't see the field his freshman year as much. He had nine carries for 124 yards in two games. But last year in 12 games, he had 2,581 yards and 33 total touchdowns and finished second in rushing yards in the state behind Union Parish Trey Holly. So it's safe to say he accomplished his goal by proving himself. Motivation was really me just being able to go out and play. Me, I really just wanted to get my name out of there, out of, out there, and just be known. At 5'11 and 190 pounds, the kid can fly. He can outrun the linebackers and safeties on the edge, but he also enjoys the physical aspect of the game. I say my strong suit is like, I could meet you in the hole, but I also can break tackles. I also can like bounce to the outside, run away from you a little bit. But I say I'm, I'm good at a little bit of everything. What's your favorite though? My favorite, probably meet you in the hole. You like the contact? I like the contact. <laughs> <laughs> this contact sport involves injuries, and he suffered a concussion at the worst part of the year, allowing him to miss the quarterfinal round against Iowa, and that was the end of his great season. They lost to the Yellow Jackets 31-14, to and he said it still haunts him at night. I feel like it would have been still like a pretty good game, a close game, because they got better, we got better. But I still, I still feel like we would have won. But now it's in the past. It's time to get over it. Just got to go out and play, see him next year. Head coach Robbie Causey noticed the growth in Ford this summer, and he said it's more so off of the field. The value is when you start a great teammate is somebody that serves other people. You know, and you're starting to see him add value to others, and so he's starting to teach. You know, to me, that's where he's starting to improve a little bit. He's showing others that this is bigger than him. It's so much bigger than the game of football. It's about valuing people that bring something to the table. Entering his junior year, Ford wants the success for himself, but for his teammates as well. My expectations is to not, is to have more than 2,000, 2,500 yards, but I also don't want to go below 2,500 yards. I do enjoy being a workhorse, but I just don't, I, I just want my teammates to know that they don't have to rely only on me and we all can play a part.